Hi everyone and welcome back to Advanced Higher Biology. Today we're moving on to key area 4 of unit 1, communication and signalling, and as usual we're going to go in to sub key areas, this one, a shorter one, starting with 4A, coordination. So this sub key area is really just going to start to introduce the idea of signalling molecules and the effect they're going to have on a cell that we'll go into in a lot more detail in the following sub key areas. So first of all, you should know that multicellular organisms are able to signal between cells and they do that using extracellular or extracellular signaling molecules. Some examples of these you need to know are steroid hormones, peptide hormones and neurotransmitters. Hopefully you remember something to do with neurotransmitters and maybe some other hormones as well from National 5. So the idea behind this is similar to things we have discussed previously where you have receptor molecules or target cells are proteins that have a binding site for a specific signal molecule. So you can see in this diagram here you have this triangular receptor molecule and it's going to have that binding site for this specific signal molecule that's going to bind together with that sort of jigsaw piece idea. So it's going to be specific for that one molecule. When that signaling molecule is going to bind to the receptor, that again, like we've mentioned a few times before, is going to change the conformation of the receptor, conformation being the shape, and that in turn is going to initiate some sort of response within the cell. And we'll go into more detail in the rest of the carrier about all the different responses that can take place. Now, different cell types are able to produce specific signals that are only going to be detected and therefore responded to by cells with that specific receptor. That kind of goes back to when you talked about complementary uh, receptor proteins in uh, National 5 biology, where you don't just have all these signals just binding to any old receptor and then triggering whatever pathway they initiate. It's going to be a specific signal that's going to bind to a specific receptor. And these signal molecules may have different effects on different target cell types. And that's going to be because of differences in their intracellular signaling molecules or pathways that are involved. So essentially, the signaling molecule binding to a target cell or a receptor molecule, inside that cell might have a different pathway. It might have different molecules being stimulated. It might have a different pathway being initiated. So it's going to have different responses depending on the different cell types. And in these multicellular organisms, different cell types may also show a tissue-specific response to the same signal. So some tissues are going to react in a certain way to a signal that a different tissue may respond in a different way. So, as I said, that's just an introduction for the start of this key area. We're going to move on to 4B, where we look at hydrophobic signals and the control of transcription. And then we'll be moving on to hydrophilic. So, if you've forgotten about the hydrophobic and hydrophilic signals, maybe go back in the previous videos and take a look at, say, the processes within the cell membrane, for example. That's all for today. Nice short one. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks, and thanks again for all your comments. See you soon for 4B, hydrophobic signals and the control of transcription. Bye for now.